This problem states the empirical formula for a compound that was analyzed and found to contain 13.5 grams of calcium, 10.8 grams of oxygen, and 6.675 grams of hydrogen is best written as what? So in this problem, once again, we are asked to determine the empirical formula for a compound that was analyzed and we're given some good information about that analysis. So let's go ahead and reiterate what our solution track is going to be. Step number one is going to be to define the mass of the individual elements identified through the analysis. We're going to use the periodic table to define the atomic weight for each element. We're going to define the number of moles for each element present in the sample. We're going to divide each mole value by the lowest of all mole values. We're going to round or multiply all moles by the smallest multiple to obtain a whole number. And then lastly, we are going to write out that empirical formula. So let's go ahead and start with step number one. Again, in previous problems, we did not have an analysis to start from. We were given that molecular formula. However, in this particular problem, we do have an analysis. So the first step is going to define the mass of all the individual elements that are identified in this analysis. Again, we will use a table to organize all of our work. Now looking at the problem statement, we know we have 13.5 grams of calcium, 10.8 grams of oxygen, and 0.675 grams of hydrogen. So our elements are going to be calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. And we know that our calcium is going to be 13.5 grams our oxygen 10.8 grams and our hydrogen 0.675 grams. So now we can use the periodic table to define the atomic weight for each element. We'll go ahead and start with calcium. So if we flip back to page 55 of your NCEES reference handbook, surf through that periodic table of elements to identify calcium element number 20 and determine that the atomic weight is 40.078. So we go ahead and pull that piece of data back over to our table. Doing the same for oxygen. We hop back to our periodic table of elements and determine that the atomic weight for oxygen is 15.999. And lastly, doing the same thing for hydrogen. We hop back to page 55 of your NCEES supplied reference handbook. Hone in on hydrogen element number one with an atomic weight of 1.0079. So there is our table at this particular point. All right, so we're gonna head to step number three where we define the number of moles for each element present in the sample. So for this particular step, we'll start with calcium. We're gonna take that total mass, we're gonna take that atomic weight per mole to determine that 13.5 divided by 40.078 tells us that we have 0.337 moles of calcium in this particular sample. Doing the same thing for oxygen, we determine that we have 0.675 moles. And in the same way for hydrogen, we find that we have 0.670 moles. Again, that's just taking the total mass of each element and dividing it by that el element's atomic weight. So there's our table at this particular point. So let's go ahead and go to step number four where we divide each mole value by the lowest of all the mole values. So looking at the to total moles column, we see that calcium is actually the lowest of all of our values. So we know 0.337 divided by 0.337 is one. 0.675 divided by 0.337 is two, and 0 0.670 divided by 0.337 is 1.99. All right, so now we need to round or multiply all the moles by the smallest multiple to obtain a whole number. So in this particular case, it looks like we have one number that is not whole, and that's for hydrogen, it's 1.99. However, this is roundable. If it's between anywhere between say 0.95 upwards or 0.05, you can round each way, not a problem, even, even more than that. But I say that's the general rule of thumb. 1.99, obviously very easily roundable to two. 
So we rounded in step number five. If it's any more than that, as you will see in a future problem, we'll actually have to multiply each mole by some value to get the whole number we're after. So now we can move down to step number six where we write out the empirical formula. Again, we're gonna focus on our empirical moles column and we can write our empirical formula as CaO2H2. So the correct answer, after we factor out the oxygen and hydrogen element, could also be written as CaOH in parentheses two. So the correct answer is C, CaOH in parentheses two.